Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. Today I'm going to show you how to plant a container using annual flowers and how to make it really beautiful. So there's tons of different choices that you can make for containers. You can get colorful plastic or glazed ceramic containers, terracotta. Um, you can use unusual containers like old boxes, old tool boxes. So kind of the sky's the limit. Um, today I really want to focus on the flowers themselves. So I'm using a, a fairly simple uh, terracotta planter, which I filled with potting soil. And um, since these aren't vegetables, you can use a, a standard potting soil. I de generally use organic potting soil. And I've chosen colors that are warm, that are in the reds and golds, oranges. What an annual flower is, is a flower um, or plant that has its life cycle in one year. So the seed germinates, it sprouts, it blooms, and then it dies within one year. So with annuals, you do need to plant them every year. Whereas a perennial, as long as it's taken care of, will continue to have its life cycle over several years. So what I've done is I've chosen a larger plant here for the kind of middle back of my container, and I'm gonna place this up against a wall. So I need to have a little bit of a focal point here. And this is Gallardia, and it's got a really beautiful uh, red center. I'm also going to put some uh, dahlias around as well. And I've chosen um, plants here that the leaves are sort of uh, similar, the colors are similar, but there's also some contrast too. So I'm going to kind of fit these in around here. And sometimes you kind of have to work around and see what works. I also have some smaller marigolds here that we can tuck in to the sides and give a little bit of pop of brightness. Um, I have a yellow marigold here as well so that it's not all orange. And maybe I'll put this one here. Make sure that your roots are not uh, bound on the bottom. If they are, just go ahead and loosen them up. Maybe take the bottom inch or so off and get those in and cover them with the, uh, the soil. I am using one perennial here. Um, this is a sweet potato vine called Blackie, and I thought it was nice because it picks up on some of the dark colors on the Gallardia, and it will also spill over the pot um, and add some color to the front of the pot too. So that we would just kind of tuck in here as well. And once you've planted everything, give it a nice good soaking. Remember that terracotta pots do dry out a little bit more quickly and you should be good to go with a beautiful container. If you have any other questions on how to plant container gardens with annuals or perennials, please contact me at www.edencondense.com. Thank you very much.